So if you are interested in using one of the forms to uh, keep a log of your communications or your Danielson examples, your professional contributions, here's what you're going to do. The first thing is to make sure that you have a Google account. Once you have a Google account, um, it's a couple steps before you'll actually be typing into the form. If you need a Google account, you can click on the link up here to go get a Google account. Otherwise, uh, if you want to, let's say you've done that, you've got your Google account, we can get this communication log template web address. I'm going to copy it and open up a uh, Google Chrome window and paste that web address in. You'll see a preview of what the form will look like. I want to use this template, so I'll just click Use This Template. When you click Use This Template, it's going to uh, give you a copy of this form. Right now, you're looking at the place where you would edit the form if you want to just use it as is. You're set to go. If you want to edit it, you can. Uh, I can view the form by clicking on the link down at the bottom here, which I'll do in a second. I also wanted to point out you can click on the email this form to email this to yourself. And that might be a good way to get this on one of your mobile devices without having to type out a long web address. So I'll click on this. It shows me the form. It's ready for me to enter data. I can type in a date uh, that I communicate with somebody via email. It was a parent. Uh, the last name is uh, going to be Frank. And it was regarding homework. And I submit the form. Now, at this point, I could submit another response and continue typing in. Uh, I'm going to just show you what this looks like in Google Drive, the spreadsheet part of it. To see the data after you've typed it into your Google form, you'll go to Google, make sure that you're logged into your account, and you can click on Drive. You'll be able to see a list of documents um, that you have. This is the form that we've been using right now. I click on the form and I'm going to click on form responses down here at the bottom and I can see a summary of the responses that have been typed into that form uh, on the date, the email, parent name was Frank and regarding homework. I could filter these things um, if I needed to uh, to sort them. To I can easily show how often uh, my communication is via email or via um, a phone call, uh, whatever I, I might like to do. So this is my raw data. You can also export this to Excel if you'd rather work in Excel, but it, it's going to be a listing, a log of everything that you've typed into your form. Now if you are on this form and want, or you are on this uh, spreadsheet and want to look at your form, you can click on form up here and go to live form and you're back to your live form where you could be typing in the data. Uh, you can always go back to the spreadsheet um, because it opens it up in a new tab. Um, so I could type in another piece of data here um, that you know I used a phone call uh, with a parent, uh, the last name Johns, and it was about an absence. Hit submit and I've submitted another response and you can see it in the spreadsheet. It comes up immediately for you to be able to see that log. So that's it. It's as simple as doing that for the other uh, forms you might want to use as well. If you need any help, please come and let me know.